Here we're going to look at using a what if data table in Excel. And this is where we're going to use a spreadsheet that only calculates one value at a time to create a table that has many of those values. So in this spreadsheet, we input the values that are in blue, the pressure and the temperature. And then this calculates values that are in the steam tables, now given the reference where the spreadsheet is located. And what we're going to look at is this enthalpy calculation. So now I'm going to go to the Excel file and demonstrate how we set up this data table. So here's just a section of spreadsheet that we're interested in, the actual steam tables spreadsheet does additional calculations. And the idea is, for example, we can change the pressure here from 3 to 4, and it calculates all the values now at 4 bar for 150 degrees C. So what we'd like to do instead of, for example, then doing the calculation of 5 bar and 6 bar and 7 bar, and then tabulating the enthalpies, we like to do that all at once. In addition, do it for a number of temperatures. So what I'm going to do is set up here a range of pressures that I want to do the calculations at. So I've picked an arbitrary and a small range of pressures that we're going to do these calculations at for enthalpy. So I've entered a range of temperatures. And now what I want to calculate is enthalpy. So this cell, I'm going to set equal to the enthalpy. And so you can see it's calculating the value of the enthalpy at 4 bar and 150 degrees C. And indeed, if I change this to 7 bar, it calculates the new enthalpy value. So the value that appears here also appears here. The what if data table is going to allow us to do is fill in all of these values. So, for example, it'll calculate the enthalpy at 1.1 bar and 95 degrees and put it here. And so, let's look at how we do that. So, first thing I do is I select the entire range, namely that corner cell the two ranges, the rows of pressures and the column of temperatures, and then the region where my results are going to be. And I go to data, and over here under what if analysis, I select data table. So it's asking me for the row cell input. And so the row cell input is pressure, so I'll select that. There and then the column input is temperature. So for temperature, I will select this. And if I click OK, it generates the entire table of values. And instead of me one by one substituting in each of these temperatures at each of these pressures, it's doing this calculation all at once. And moreover, if I were to make a change in the table, and for example, if I change this to 2 bar, and this to 3 bar, and so forth, it calculates new values corresponding to those pressures. So it's a very useful table. Once I have it here, I can select and change my temperature and pressure ranges. So it's a very effective way to generate large number of values. For example, I wanted to plot enthalpy as a function of temperature at various pressures. I could use these data to quickly do that. 